We must not allow anybody to get your attention other than the corporations and the shops. Please keep your focus of attention on shopping. When you walk into Westfields, you turn from a human being into a shopper. Please do not forget that. Hello, sir. My name's uh, Terry from Westwood, London. Uh, film faces, film faces. That's a bit illegal, though, isn't it? Can you not do that, please? One sec. Put that thing on my face. Are we disturbing you, or would you like us to continue? Yeah, you are so funny, mate. We're not disturbing you. Ladies, there's nothing to see here. Carry on shopping. The economy needs you. The man in the suit has asked me what my point is. Well, the answer to that is, I have many points. But as I said to your colleague, my main point is to look at you in the eye and to make you aware that you are the most amazing, unique being and that you don't need any of these shops in order to be happy. That's my main point. around butt naked and be filmed by the way, even though I went, do it. Uh, what about freedom? Do you not uh, respect people's freedom and stuff like this? Interesting question. So I, I didn't want to be filmed and you're still um, filming me. Okay, Terry, that's an interesting question. What about freedom, he says. He doesn't want to be filmed and we're still filming him. If I'm not mistaken, it's already filming. what's that up there? Oh, that's for my safety, is it? Well, I don't want to be filmed. I don't want to be filmed. You're saying that's intrusive? Well, I find that intrusive. And I find that intrusive. What do you say it's not? I find CCTV very intrusive. Anybody else here find CCTV intrusive? No, anybody else? While at your nearest CCTV camera, welcome to Her Majesty's Open Prison London. ID cards must be worn at all times because you are all potential terrorists with swine flu. Ladies and Because everything in our lives we need. 
Life brings us things that we need. Every single person needs this today. Hello, hello. Okay, so you have to stop filming. It's got another sentence. Okay, I won't film you. I won't film you. Can you not tell by now that we're being disobedient for a reason? Okay, so yeah. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. If you guys touch me, I'm going to get very, very sad. Okay, listen. We as the policy. Yep. Sir, please stop filming. I'm not happy. Well, I'm not happy. I'll film Danny. I'll film Danny. I'm not happy for that. Danny, yeah. Okay. I'm no, Charlie. You can call me Dave. Okay, Dave. Um, basically, what are you protesting over? Why it's not a protest. What, we're not protesting, we're just expressing ourselves. We, well, I, I, I appreciate. Okay, so now, uh, sorry, you are, what, what is your position here? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Yeah. Alright, you're we, can we, a woman in position of authority and said something very interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very, very important because what she said is that we're on private property. But actually, the definition, legal definition of private property does not fit this place. This is not private property. That is a myth spread by the corporations and by the police. This is actually public property, or should I say corporate property. Corporations are not private individuals. They are actually faceless things, faceless, fictitious things made up in order to control you. What you are here now is in corporate property. This is not private property. Actually, no, if it was private now. property, I could take off all my clothes, including my underpants. Would you like that? Yeah. No, you wouldn't, would you? Therefore, this is not private property. But look what happened. Two men with megaphones saying beautiful things. Because basically what we're really clear to say is that you are all magnificent people. You don't need to buy trinkets. You don't need 50 pairs of shoes. You don't need the latest makeup. You're all amazing beings. We're here to spread messages of love and joy and happiness. You can be happy just by putting a smile on your face. That's all that we're saying. And what happens? Dozens and dozens of security people come around because they can't quite cope with the glitch in the matrix. Where are they? Ladies and gentlemen, you may be wondering, what on earth are we doing here? But that's not the important question. The important question is for you to ask yourselves, what are you doing on earth? What on earth are you doing? Why are you on this planet? What's the purpose of your life? What's the purpose of existence itself? You can either do that or go and continue watching the advertisements as they continue messing with your mind and your consciousness. The mainstream media and the corporations are absolutely ruining humanity. They are ruining humanity by continually projecting all sorts of images to try and control you and get you to buy things that you don't need. You don't need anything. You are perfect as you are. You are wonderful, beautiful, amazing human beings. Yes, that even applies to the security who don't like us being here. The thing is that, as I say, you see, you, you guys, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. you know, there's so many CCTV cameras and I find them extremely yeah. That's what I'm saying, so I don't know why you'd be so concerned about being... Well, it's just that uh, the images that you... Your guy take could be used for terrorists. Could be used, no, could be misconstrued. You could just see like one of us hiding there on top of you and it looks really bad, and it could be used for the wrong side. At the moment, nobody's been hurt. Yeah. You've done what you've needed to do, you've created a great spectacle. You've brought all the managers down. And Perfectly okay as you are. You don't need anything more. Just enjoy your life. Go to a field, enjoy breathing fresh air. Come go, guys. Oh, except for this, you really need. No, you're right. You need one of these toys, otherwise you can never be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, these toys are the greatest thing in the history of shopping. Come over, go, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's possible to reach Nirvana and entitlement and true happiness until you have one of these rotating toys. I read, keep your children happy for at least five minutes and then they'll want something else. I read in the newspaper that Jesus, Muhammad and Buddha would have bought one of these toys. I take it you lads have been protesting in there. Is that no, we have not, sir. No, okay. All it is, we've just been called. There has been some uh, mention that obviously someone's been possibly making protests in there. I don't know what the score is in terms of like, protesting right there, inside of there. So it's not for me to debate that. Okay. There's no offence has been acknowledged to me, so I ain't oh, really got a problem with that. If they're not doing anything. Sorry, apparently. So in, in that sense, obviously, I know, I'll just, um, I'll just have a quick word. Just, 
obviously see, see what's going on. What was it, what's it all about? Well, it's it's, about, a lot, it's about a lot of things, but um, one of the main one of the things that we do is to try and create love, harmony, and fun, especially with people uh, in positions of what I would call kind of illusory control, um, like yourself. So one of the things that we try and do is cause is to create connections yeah, yeah. with people of the police and one of the things I like to do is to offer obviously it's completely um, voluntary, voluntary but is to offer people like yourselves a hug it's very cool I don't think that'd be particularly uh, thank you very much but I don't think that'd be appropriate on my part thank you though well, lots of policemen lots of policemen have no, no it's very kind of you but I'll I'll, I'll, ref okay, well, I'll, I'll you, kindly you okay decline okay, um, well, all it is gents in that hug. case as I said there's nothing been told to me that you cause any problems but just be aware obviously I'm sure you're already aware of the law quite well, public order offences, just be aware of that. <laughs>